Great. So uh, Liz did a great plug for Roger uh, Coet, who um, is up next. He's uh, with Col Colorado Mountain School, um, and he's going to be sharing details about their training program for avalanche safety workers. Um, it's a new technical education certificate program stemming from the Timberline campus. Um, Roger is also the faculty lead for the avalanche science program, instructs EMS, uh, wilderness medicine, and outdoor studies courses. So let's walk welcome Roger. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I'll go quick. I know lunch is pending. Uh, just want to talk about our program briefly and uh, see if I can uh, stoke some interest. And thanks a lot to Liz for uh, giving me a great preliminary plug before I talk about our program. So um, uh, I want to thank you for having me speak today. Um, uh, forward. No, that's the wrong way. There we go. Uh, CMC Timberline Campus in Leadville, in partnership with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, has developed an innovative two-year-long avalanche science program that offers American Avalanche Association professional track certifications, as well as a certificate of occupational proficiency as a snow weather and avalanche field technician. This is a state of Colorado higher education approved certificate that we offer. Colorado Mountain College is a large community college system offering associates and bachelor's degrees, as well as a variety of technical education certificates. The college is comprised of 11 campuses and covers a service area of over 12,000 square miles, about the size of the state of Maryland. And additionally, we serve about 18,000 students annually. So we're plopped right in the center of Colorado, right in the mountains. The picture here shows Mount Elbert, which is across the valley from our campus. It's the highest Colorado peak at 14,400 feet. Our avalanche science program is geared to prepare students for work in a range of operations with snow and avalanche safety concerns. We built the program from the ground up, and in its development, we essentially started from scratch, ignoring the typical model of avalanche education in favor of a prolonged and heavily mentored program of studies that will prepare students professionally as field workers and prepare them to a significant level of knowledge and competency. We started program design back in 2014 with technical advising from Ethan Green, director, and Brian Lazar, deputy director of the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, as well as all with ongoing help from Dr. Kelly Elder of the U.S. Forest Service. These three had the original idea of building a unique course of snow and avalanche studies and professional preparation, largely unlike anything previously offered in the United States. We have to date built a very solid group of faculty members who work as forecasters, guides, snow safety educators, and professional snow safety operators. When we set about designing the program, we built it from the ground up, designing the curriculum from the perspective of what skills and knowledge a solid entry-level snow safety worker should have. The curriculum design process worked in reverse and started by asking a variety of questions. First, graduate roles. What roles are program graduates going to play in the future? Intended outcomes. What should students be able to do as a result of this academic preparation? How can we assess students to show evidence that we've accomplished the intended outcomes? What skills and knowledge and attitudes must be addressed for each one of those outcomes? What kind of courses would we need to build to deliver this information? And then what must students do before engaging in this coursework as preparatory, as preparation? So to answer these questions, what jobs or roles will graduates fill in the future? Students will be prepared for employment in operations that involve work in and around avalanche terrain, from, snow, from ski area snow safety to forecasting, ski guiding, research, public safety roles, or work as snow safety educators. In defining overall program outcomes and competencies, we asked the questions, what should students be able to do as a result of this academic preparation, and what specific skills and knowledge and attitudes must be addressed for each outcome? From this, and from extensive industry polling, we identified nine key program outcomes each with a list of core competencies that complement them. And from this process, 
creating the scope and depth of our program. Out of the curriculum development process emerged a list of 11 courses comprising 21 college credit hours and 500 hours of an instructional time to be delivered over two full winter seasons from the first snowfalls to the snowpack ablation in the spring. Courses span a wide range of concepts and practice from the fundamentals of snow and avalanche theory, meteorology, observational practices including data collection and analysis, avalanche rescue, concepts in risk management, safe travel, forecasting, and avalanche hazard mitigation. What must students do before engaging in this coursework? Program acceptance is competitive and students entering the program must show both academic preparation covering mostly early college level type coursework and they must hold key certifications in first aid and avalanche safety and rescue much as Liz described as the professional track prerequisites. And these students must have some baseline experience and ability in backcountry winter travel. Some unique program features. The program offers a variety of features that set it apart from most other avalanche safety studies. We've built courses as hybrids, which are blends of on-site and online learning. These are scheduled with a wintertime worker in mind. Students visit campus each winter for three intensive on-site sessions, each lasting from six to 11 days. Before, between, and after each of these sessions, students remain engaged in their coursework through live online class sessions as well as independent online work. During their second year, students also engage in industry internships, exposing them to the workplace as well to the current snow safety practices across a variety of professional settings. Additionally, the program is portfolio based with students developing artifacts of their educational progression that will serve them on into job seeking after graduation. Finally, the Leadville campus of Colorado Mountain College is particularly well suited to house this program. The campus sits at 10,200 feet and has ready access to a significant amount of permitted terrain for student field work. We house a Colorado Avalanche Information Center forecasting office on our campus and students have ready access to our two remote telemetered weather stations in the northern Sawatch Mountains. So to wrap it up, the program's completed a successful first year with a cohort of 11 students and who all passed their year one classes and also have received their A3 Pro One certification. The program curriculum educational delivery were thoroughly reviewed by the American Avalanche Association and the program successfully received professional course provider status. We continue to expand the program with planned development of future course offerings such as remote weather station construction, programming and maintenance, professional avalanche search and rescue, uh, explosives use for uh, snow and safety uh, mitigation, and GIS for terrain mapping. We're up and running with our newest class of students who started their coursework this last September, and they will return to campus for their first on-snow session in mid-December, and they are currently still engaged in online coursework, attending live class sessions, I think it's every Monday and Wednesday evenings, until they return for our intensive session on campus. So that was a quick overview of a program that we built uh, to address that end of the spectrum in avalanche safety worker training as Liz described before. For folks interested as to, uh, or aspiring to be professional level avalanche safety workers or folks who want to continue on in their professional development, uh, we'd love to talk to you. I've got a table outside in the tent. Um, we'll probably want to skip questions unless somebody's got something burning and uh, release you all for lunch.